tell me this is like slightly darker and you know slightly more depressing but in terms of the human impact on animals and the environment and the climate have you if you have and what you have witnessed firsthand like can you tell me a bit about that out here not so much um but i yeah. guess this is quite a controversial topic um but just two weeks ago now maybe maybe three weeks ago one of our male leopards was shot Ooh. and that was a really hard pill to swallow for all of us his name was hukumuri and he's a great iconic amazing leopard who i have had incredible moments with you know a lot of my fondest memories involve hukumuri yeah and i guess this scenario was human wildlife conflict so he escaped the perimeter of where he's supposed not escaped. He walked out of the perimeter. He went way out of his territory because he was being pressurized by other males. He's weak. And he ended up sort of coming to a village, a very, very small local village. And yeah. he's really habituated around humans, actually, but he was eating their livestock. And it became, they tried to catch him many, many times and it wasn't working. The woman whose livestock he was eating she has nothing else she mm. has nothing her livelihood yeah. is her livestock it's a very um developing country here there's lots of areas that are very poor and rural and that was her life and this male leopard is attacking her livestock she also has young children yeah she has to protect her children. And in the end, they were shot. It was controlled. It was done by the correct body, but this leopard was posing a threat. So it created a social media storm. People are sad. We've just lost one of our male leopards. It's heartbreaking. I shed a tear or two. I did a tribute to him. I said a poem for him. It was heartbreaking. Yeah. But it also opened the doors because we spoke about it on Wild Earth to people all around the world sitting on the sofa in America or you in France or my family in Scotland to conservations, not just conserving animals. It's like my yeah. degree. You've got politics to think about. You've got people yeah. to think about. You've got money, economics to think about. There are so many sort of dimensions to conservation. And I think that's what people forget. And it's not easy in yeah. any part of the world. Human wildlife conflict is a huge issue. It's just not spoken about so often. But in Africa, it's Africa. You know, the human wildlife conflict is so rife and it happens every single day. And yeah. although I miss this leopard and I think about him and he was such an epic being to be around and I wish that hadn't happened. I also feel that it's opened the doors, it's opened people's eyes to the reality. Mm. You know, you may be sitting in England right now drinking tea. This is Africa. You know, there are wild animals, top apex predators, elephants larger than your house, next to people's lives, next to yeah. small little villages who don't have what some people around the world have. And although there's so many different sides to the coin, I'm obviously not going to dive deep into it, but I think it just opened people's eyes into the reality of what we're facing here. And yeah. I just think the message that should be taken from this awful incident is that people think conservation is conserving wildlife you know let's protect the animals but it's there's so much more to think about from governance to environmental factors you know and I think conservation is not easy there's people out there putting themselves on the front line to save animals lives and I think they should be recognized more way more than these Hollywood Definitely. actors and these footballers you know we need to recognize these people that are putting their lives on the line you know these anti-poachers these people that are going out to rescue and dehorn rhinos and wildlife vets you know yeah. they're really not recognized for the incredible work that they do and I think this situation is just although there was a lot of emotion surrounding it and there was a lot of false information put on social media I think it has opened people's eyes to what really yeah. goes on and how we need to improve we need to be better but there's not always the resources available um mm. 
So, I mean, that only happened three weeks ago. It's still quite raw, but obviously yeah. it impacted us here at Wild Earth heavily because he was a main character of ours and he captured so many people's hearts. But at the end of the day, people's lives were at risk. Young children's lives were at risk. Thanks for watching that clip. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and check out the full episode. All links are in the description. Be nice, be happy, be cool.